Today we are continuing our annual Christmas Compassion Campaign. During this time, we are highlighting our local and global compassion partners who are doing amazing work to reach out to the vulnerable in their context. This year, we asked each of our partners to share with us what hope, peace, love, and joy looks like from their perspective. This week, we are looking at love. I think that by creating an atmosphere where kids know that they're loved, that they're accepted, then their hearts are open to receive the good news, that they're open to uh, encountering Jesus. We believe that love is, is a human's greatest desire. And we can offer that even before we meet the clients. We often pray for those who haven't come to us yet, knowing that their time with us is God-driven and a divine appointment. And you can't do the work that, that we're talking about today um, and that the Outreach Center does without having uh, a reverence for human life, for human beings, and a deep compassion for everybody that our lives cross in the community. To me, I want to share my love and the love of Jesus Christ with these children. One time I was in a pickup truck, and then uh, children were waving at us, and I didn't respond when they were waving. And then the old man on the pickup told me, may I tell you, never resist the waving of those children. First of all, they need love. But for them, they are honest. As they are waving to you, they are communicating something. From that time, I never, whenever a child waves, I wave back. So they know somebody loves them, somebody cares. Here at Crossroads, we are able to provide to that social worker a gift of food for the family or clothing for students. And that is a gift that just speaks of a practical type of love the literal hands and feet of Jesus providing something that that social worker can take to the family and they know that there are people in the community who deeply care about them and are coming alongside to support them in times of challenge. Yeah, we um, embodied love um, out of the support that we received from our, our partners but also um, the great relationship we have with uh, the church leaders here helped us really to reach out uh, to the most uh, vulnerable families that uh, did see the effects or were affected by COVID-19. So we were able to provide um, home-based care services, uh, messages around COVID-19 uh, prevention in the communities when everyone was stepping away the church was willing to step in and really uh, express love and care to these hurting uh, and uh, struggling families. When you feel compassion or love, um, it is a contradictory feeling to anger and resentment, and you can't feel both at the same time. And so one of the um, areas that I focused on with men that I worked with was uh, teaching them, first of all, self-compassion, love of self, and when they uh, are feeling really angry or upset with somebody in their family situation, if they can turn quickly on their compassion, love, and respect for themselves as you know, a child of God, uh, a human person worthy of dignity, they can very quickly suppress the, the angry, angry feelings that can lead to violence. When people come to the medical clinic, they feel a difference rather than just going to the local hospital or maybe another organization that has a clinic because we have a staff that really cares and loves them. When they come in the doors, we share the gospel with them and we make sure that all the care that's provided to them, they, they feel that. And we really can't do that in our own strength. It has to be this unique Jesus kind of love, this self-sacrificing love. During our Christmas Compassion Campaign, we get to celebrate all that our partners are doing. At this time, we need to consider what is our contribution towards this great work. God is doing amazing things through our partners, and we play a vital role in empowering them to continue. Will you pause and pray about what you can give this year to help ensure the success of God's plans in these areas? You can give by placing a check or cash in the red envelope or through our website, or you can visit the Hub. On behalf of our partners, thank you so much for your support.